Good morning guys. Happy what day is it today? Thursday. Today's Thursday. We were just off for a little walk. Yes, it's raining. Yes, it's cold. But we are off for a little walk. Yes, you jacked the umbrella. Yes, I jacked the umbrella. Let me know. Um I just wanted to, I just needed like a little walk just to get out of the house, get some fresh air in because staying at home, stuck in all day can really do your head in a little walk will do us some good so yeah lovely British weather as per usual but you know weather can't really stop us from going for a little walk Guys, we found like some dodgy alleyway and we're not too sure if we should go in because we don't know where it's going to lead us to. It's called the Peppercorn Walk. But let's go, let's see where it leads us. This is like bit dodgy here, you know. Literally nothing next to us. <laughs> oh my god, the back of people's garden. How odd is that? I swear when we walk, we always find these weird pathways for some odd reason. We always seem to be walking and finding like new places that's kind of what I like about our area it takes you to one place and then takes you to another place and then another place and another place kind of cool actually I'm not gonna lie <laughs> a few moments later you guys we literally went for such a long walk literally went for continue like, going whatever <laughs> it was about like a good hour one hour walk and honestly it's made me feel so much more better, better? yeah because I felt like I was just like you know when you're stuck at home all day you just like you get such bad headaches, you just feel meh, you know? And we had some deep conversations. We had actually <laughs> such a deep convo, like really, really deep. And sometimes it's good just to kind of take it off your chest. I think the weather's been so mucky the last couple of days. We've just literally been at home, not even in the garden or nothing like that. And it's just literally giving me the worst I think headache. everyone's been at home, isn't it? I know, but going for a little walk, honestly, even though it's raining, has... We never go out when it's raining for a walk. I know. <laughs> we always just jump in the car and we just go for a, like just go for a drive. But now you can't even like literally go out for a drive really. We might we might go to the B B N M Garden Centre. Yeah, maybe today. I'm thinking, so this is what I wanna do because we wanna obviously you guys know we're still doing the garden. I keep on repeating myself, but you guys know we're still doing the garden, so we need to get a few more bits. We ordered a few more bits on Amazon today morning, but there's a few more bits that we need to buy from B and Q. And I really want to go, but I don't want to do that thing where we went like, what, 7 o'clock in the morning yeah. and we fell asleep at like 6. I don't want to do that because we were literally a zombie that day when we were vlogging. We could not put two sentences together. We were literally zoned out. So what I want to do is I want to potentially maybe go today, but literally at half 7 because they close at 8. So if we go at half 7, I feel like it's going to be quite... But then it's going to take time to go there. and then we. No, obviously drive it, but I'm saying like be there for half 7, then mm. go in for half 7. I feel like that's... I feel like that's gonna be okay because it won't be as busy I, I feel like it'll be dead well fingers crossed i hope anyways guys i know someone's gonna ask me about my hijab my hijab is from istanbul i bought it when we went to istanbul recently and i absolutely love it it's so so gorgeous and in regards to my outfit <coughs> and in regards to my outfit i've just got this jumper dress it's a long one that i got i think i think i want to say h&m a while ago but it's a, it's a really like loose, comfortable dress and I absolutely love it. Please ignore our coats, our wet coats that we just wore when we went for a walk. But that is outfit of the day. Okay guys, so I am just about to make some flapjacks and I make the most basic flapjack ever that actually tastes literally insane. So all you need to do is you need to melt 150 grams of butter in a pan. So I'm gonna pop that in and then you need to add your syrup in so I have a bit of syrup I'm gonna add a bit of honey because I like the taste of honey as well so I'm gonna melt that with some syrup 
Okay, and then I'm gonna add 150 grams of brown sugar. So you can use brown sugar or white sugar. I'm gonna use normal caster sugar because we haven't got any brown sugar at home. And now we just have to use what we have at home because we ain't gonna go to the shop. So yeah, just 150 grams of sugar. And then you just need to stir until it's basically a Melted. syrup. Okay, so at this point, I would recommend to preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Have we done that? Yep. Amazing, so that's done. And then I'm gonna add some oats. This is 250 grams of oats, and I'm gonna add that in the pan. At this point, um, I would recommend adding a pinch of salt to the recipe. It just basically makes it a bit more dewy. And Okay, so at this point, um, if you wanted to top it up with anything and decorate it, you can top it up with sprinkles or whatever you want to add to your flapjack mix. And then we're going to cook it for 15 minutes and then it goes in the oven. That's pretty much it, guys. It's so straightforward and it literally it? tastes amazing. No, not cheese. <laughs> And that's it guys, it's pretty straightforward and honestly it tastes amazing with a good cuppa. It's so easy to make with your kids. Be if you nice want to do something. Up there, sure. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It's so easy, like oats, honey, and sugar. Like that's it. It tastes I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when it comes out of the oven, but definitely would recommend you it. Smell it nice. It smells beautiful. Golden syrupy. Mm. Guys, it's out of the oven. I've just put some chocolate chips over it before I popped it in. But yeah, um, it's out of the oven. It's been in for a good 15 minutes. And now I'm going to let it set for a good 5 to 10 minutes. And then let that's it. it. Down, it? You guys, look how good it turned out. It literally smells insane. And I'm so excited to try this out with a good cup of... Okay, I'm going to try some for you guys and let you know. I hope you guys don't mind. I know some of you guys are probably watching this when you're fasting. But... I'm gonna try a little bit for you guys and let you guys know what I think. So I have a little bit here and I'm gonna try it. It's literally so soft from the inside and it's nice and crispy from the outside. So it's literally gonna taste amazing. Bismillah. Mm -mm -mm. You know what this reminds me of? What? It reminds me of school. <laughs> you know when you're at school and like, you know when you're having like school dinners and you get to choose like a pudding. I remember always choosing like flapjacks. That's probably why I was fat when I was younger, but that literally tastes amazing, guys. If you do try it, let me know and tag me in your pictures because I want to see you lots of pictures. But honestly, 100% would recommend. It tastes amazing. I'm not just saying that. It really, really does. Nice and crispy, but soft from the inside, like nice and mm, amazing. It's the leg of man towards the direction of Jehennam. And so they erected these statues and whenever they feel that their Iman was going through a bit of a bust, a bit of a fatigue, they would go to these statues and merely looking at- Guys, look at this rainbow, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, subhanAllah. MashaAllah, that is so stunning. What the hell? It's huge, isn't it? Off to being cute looking like this. <laughs> you guys, crazy. Crazy times. So yeah, guys, we have our masks on. We are just gonna head to B. Oh no, what? Yeah. We're just about to head to B and M. Like we mentioned, we're gonna go right before they close, like a half an hour before they close. So hopefully, it's a bit more dead. We can pick up what we need and just head home straight away, inshallah. So we are gonna head out. I'm probably gonna leave you guys here, and then I'll catch up with you guys when we get back. I cannot talk in this. It's literally suffocating. Anyways, catch up with you guys when we get back. You guys, we are back from a B&M. Oh my God, they had amazing things for the garden. Look how cute this three-tier flower planter is. Literally only 20 pounds. Um, the light even lights up as well, so that's so cool. We also got this like mini little fence just for the sides. And then in here, I got a bag full of things that I needed. Hand sanitizer, salt and pepper, salt some not unstoppables i've got obviously my coffee mate 
the flora, a few bits and bobs that we needed for the house. So I'm going to disinfect everything and then I'm going to pop everything away. But this um, we are going to just do. We're just going to pop this out in the garden now and then we're going to prep for iftar. Guys, we even bought a few plants. Um, how much was it? It's two pounds fifty each, or they had an offer where you can get five for ten pounds. But oh, we just got three. Yeah, we just got three because the other ones were pretty much dead. But yeah, so excited to put them in our new plant here. Okay, guys. So we, it's so odd. We started the vlog outside and we're about to end it outside. Oh, nice. We had iftar, but I didn't really vlog it because. There's nothing really exciting. We had yesterday's shepherd's pie. Obviously, I made enough for two days. So, we had that for iftar. And for pudding, we have yummy flapjacks, which we're going to have with mm -hmm. a nice cuppa mm -hmm. later, hopefully. We'll make some Asian, Asian chai. You'll make some masala Asian chai. Masala chai. Masala. I'll leave you in charge of that because I don't know how to make masala chai. But, anyways, so like I just wanted to come here and let you guys know that the garden renovation is coming a lot sooner than you thought. The garden is pretty much complete, like I mentioned. Um, we ordered a few things from Amazon, so we're just waiting for that to arrive. But once that arri once that's finished, then got the renovation coming soon, inshallah. I'm so excited for you guys inshallah. to see it. We ordered so many lovely things for the garden. We'll shoot you on a sunny day, so it looks yeah, nice. so it looks nicer rather than a mucky, yeah. rainy day. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It's been a busy one. It sure has. As per usual. But we thought we'd go for a little walk, digest. Because yesterday, the shepherd's pike literally killed us off. We were so shattered. We kept it yawning throughout the whole night. Because, you know, <laughs> tea are so heavy to have at night. But mm -hmm. it's tasty, nevertheless. It's yummy, yummy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's vlog. Day 7 complete. Oh my god, there. before you know it, the, the first 10 days will be done. Yeah. I'm fasting yeah. tomorrow, inshallah, and I'm so excited. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and we shall see you guys in our next video. Salams.